Hello, first of all I would like to introduce myself. I'm Sasha Bros. I'm from Germany but I grew up in Spain. But I've chosen a German business manager just to change a little bit. One of my favorites actually, I, uh, one of the main reasons is that he made one of the best and cleverest company fusion in German history. But later I will get in, into more details. So let's start. I took Martin Winterkorn. He's now actually the CEO of Volk, von der Volkswagen Co. And in my presentation, I'm going to talk about his biography, his career, and why I admire him, and also my conclusions. Let's start. So, well, his biography, he was born in May 24th, in 1947, in Leonberg, that's Baden-Württemberg, in Germany. It's also my hometown city. Uh, he studied, he was a student at the University of Stuttgart and made his degree in metallurgy and physics. And actually he did really good because four years later he received his doctorate from the Max Planck Institute. Then he first jobs, he started in 1977 when he got his doctorate at the Bosch GmbH. It's one of the biggest uh, electronic manufacturing companies in Germany. But later he found his love to cars and switched to the Volkswagen Co. in 1993. After this point, his career as we see, uh, started to, to grow up in an exponential way. He became member of the Volkswagen Group board in 2000. Later, he was selected as chairman management from Audi in 2002. And also, when he, uh, he was the leader of Audi, he heeded the other brands, the holding groups like Seat, Lamborghini and Ducati. And finally, his actual job, after the biggest fusion, but I will talk later because it's one of my reasons I admire him, is he's now the CEO from the Volkswagen uh, company. The reason why I admire him are several, but the main reason I did uh, I do is because he did one of the cleverest fusions, starting them with intention from Porsche to buy Volkswagen, but finally he succeed that uh, Volkswagen could uh, could buy Porsche. So he did very clever because he made his company so expensive that Porsche ran out from finance and, and money, so he could buy Porsche. And now Porsche is a Volkswagen company. Also, I think he's very intelligent and know how to lead a business, thinking ahead, so he make a lot of improvements and think in the future. And also, he's very fair, not only to his workers, um, furthermore to other people, helping people in any way he can. So finally, to sum up, I uh, just say what Martin Wittergren's philosophy is, is to never give up. And more important is that he thinks that there is always a way out, a solution for, for a problem. So you just need to be patient and carry with you positive thinking and just the hard work is the only good work. So thank you very much. If you've got any questions, just let me know. And thank you.